My name's Coon Cassius, this is iFilm London. Stand with me, I've got the main man at Sky Sports Boxing, Mr Adam Smith. How are you, Adam? I'm very well, thank you. Very well. Looking forward to Saturday night and uh, plenty of other boxing coming up on Sky, obviously. What an amazing press conference we've just witnessed. I don't know what part of that Sky will show and what they won't show, but um, the, the unedited I version we of it... Live. <laughs> I think we were live. I'm not sure whether we moved away at, at various points, but uh, it all got a little bit out of hand, didn't it? But, you know, there's there's two sets of fighters who generally don't like each other. Um, I mean, I've known about the Tony Bellew, Nathan Cleverly issues for, for, for quite some time, and, uh, you know, Tony's come in at, at, at late notice. He's got a massive chance to uh, put his name up in lights, and uh, he was obviously sort of, you know, wound up by the occasion and I think he got to Nathan a little bit but Nathan's a pretty cool character he's a bright guy and uh, I think he'll let his fist do the talking in the ring what sort of credit do you give to Tony Bellew for stepping in at such short notice for such a big fight yeah huge credit you know Tony Bellew is a throwback fighter isn't he he's uh He's a big puncher. He's a big banger. He's got a big mouth, and uh, and you know he's uh, he's a nice guy out of uh, out, out of the scene as well. And and I think he, you know, he said he says he's doing it for his kids, and he'll you know he'll he'll get up when when people are knocked down. And look, you know, boxing's uh, boxing's a strange sport, isn't it, Coogan? You know, you you got to take your chances. Steve Robinson did it at 48 hours notice. Klitschko did it against Lennox Lewis. Uh, there's been Johnny Nelson, my colleague, did it for his European title fight. I think at 48 hours' notice, you know, it's a big chance for him, and uh, you know, he could come out as a, as a champion on Saturday night. And good luck to him. Do you think Nathan Cleverly is finally getting the publicity he deserves? Because obviously the fight's been overshadowed by the DeGale and Groves uh, grudge match, and obviously now Nathan is getting that sort of publicity three days before. So it's all good, isn't it? Well, absolutely. You know, the, the sort of bad mouthing sells the fights, doesn't it, really? And, and James DeGale and George Groves go back way, way back and uh, to their days at the Dale Youth. You know, we had them on ringside a few weeks ago. There is genuine and utter dislike, almost hatred, really, between the pair. That's not that's not for the cameras, as actually was Bellew and Cleverly today. That you, you just got two sets of guys who don't get on, and uh, you know that makes for spicier fights. I mean, actually, with James and, and George, I follow their careers. You know right from the amateur days actually they live five minutes one lives five minutes on one side of me one lives five minutes on the other side of me in west london they're both lovely guys they're both very different personalities they're like chalk and cheese and uh, it just adds to what should be a, an enticing fight and an, an enticing evening doesn't it but uh, yeah you're right nathan has been overshadowed um i think he's uh, a terrific fighter i think he's gaining the right experience at the right time he's only 24 he's uh, come from a, a, a hard school down in the welsh valleys with Joe Calzaghi, who I know rates him extremely highly, and I think Nathan is going to go on and become a, a serious world champion for Britain. So let's talk about you for a minute. Adam Smith taking over Sky Sports Boxing, aren't you? Well, that's right. I mean, I'm the executive producer now, so uh, it's been about six to eight months, and um, you know, I've enjoyed it. There's many different challenges, being um, you know the other side of proceedings. You know, um, I still, you know, keep going a little bit with the the presenting and the commentary, but there's um, obviously uh, there's different issues to 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 sort of iron out. You know, we're dealing with promoters, we're dealing with fighters, we're dealing with um, with you know uh, altogether different attitudes and different things. But I uh, I, I want to make sure as much as I can uh, to ensure that the Sky fans get the, the best possible fights and fighters uh, on Sky, which is something that we've been doing for you know, nearly 20 years, you know, 20 years of Sky Sports now, and, and certainly I've been there 17 years at Sky, uh, and I think we've, you know, we've, uh, our history has proven, you know, we've, we've taken Ricky Hatton all the way through from, from start to finish, as, uh, as you only know too well. Um, we've also done a lot of Joe Calzaghi's fights, Lennox Lewis, and, and later on, and we had the the later part of Nigel Benn, Chris Eubank, and so on and so forth. And you know, this is a new, a new era. You know, it's a, it's a David Hay era. We've we've shown a lot of Amir Khan, obviously as well. Uh, we're getting Carl Froch back to Sky, which is great news. Um, and we hope that you know two or three of these guys from Saturday night, the likes of James or George and, and, and Nathan and Tony and Frankie and Billy Joe behind them, will will go on and, and produce you know champions for the future. I think British boxing's in a healthy state, uh, and it's uh, it's. You know, it's our job to put the best we can possibly put on, um, with obviously the remits of what the promoters can offer us to. Well, Adam, it's brilliant to have you on the other side of the mic because it must be a bit strange for you <laughs> being interviewed. And uh, we hope to catch up with you soon. You're doing great things for Sky Sports. It is honestly a fresher outlook to the way we're watching boxing on Sky at the minute. It's, it's brilliant, you know. Well, thanks very much. You know, I, I hope with the Ringside Magazine show that we've brought something different to the fans. You know, we haven't had the show for for a few years. You know, we we were we were 
put back on Friday nights rather than Saturday nights, mainly down to the football. But um, we've got in Barney Francis, the head of sports, a real boxing fan, um, and in myself, obviously, a big boxing fan, and, and the whole of my excellent team who've been there a long time, a lot of them. Um, and uh, I think that with with Ringside, we're you know we're trying to get the the great stories, the the big guests. We're trying to go around the world a little bit, and um, I'm hoping that that's uh, that's becoming a real cult show and people are enjoying it. But um, you know, onwards and upwards, it's good times. Onwards and upwards. Thank you very much. Kum Kessis with Adam Smith for I Film London. Thank you very much. Hi there, I'm Adam Smith, and you're watching I Film London. I Film London. 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 I feel London, London, London.